Hey there, this is Will from you. Hey there, this is Will from You Can Bless the Road to Happiness. Out in the camper, I I just was trying to work with the last couple of days. We've been trying to get the heater to work in this, so and it's not working. So it's fine with us. Uh, it's really fine with us. Uh, we still got a good deal on this camper and everything. It's it doesn't leak. That's that's the main thing. It does not leak. That's a good thing. Uh, and we had proof of that because it kind of rained yesterday, and we have no leaks. Everything's dry. Uh, everything's well. So my wife went to Walmart today and she went down the clearance aisle because she loves clearance stuff. And she found a great deal today. Here it is. This is going to be our new heater in here. Uh, it was a $77 heater. And we got it for $19. $19 right there. $77.93. So... There's our new heater, and we paid very little for it, and it's working very well. It's really chilly out. It's probably in the teens today. It's really chilly, but it's not raining anymore. It's just windy and raw. In Maine, you never know to day to day what the uh, weather is going to be like, and even during the day, it could change just the snap of your finger. You, you could be up north, and it could be snowing in the middle of the summertime. Seriously. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> back to what we were saying, or I was saying, so I got another fix. We now have a heater for our camper. Uh, you're probably asking, well, how are you going to have electricity or, uh, we don't go camping in campgrounds. We don't, we go up, we go up North in the back main woods and I bring a 3,100 watt generator that holds about two and a half gallons of gas. And I bring up, I don't know, I usually try to bring up more than what I need. So I'll probably bring up probably seven, eight gallons of gas, nine gallons of gas probably. Just in case, because someone might break down up there, you never know. And they might need some gas to get back into town for their vehicle. So we always plan like that. You know what I mean? When we go up camping, we plan like, like not like survival, but we plan for like if something does happen... Um, that we it, that's preventable or whatever we we think, we bring it and we take it with us because we may not need it, but there might be somebody up there that might be lost or might be in need of something like that. See, and a lot of us up up here in Maine, we all think like that when we go up into the Maine woods. You know, a lot of us bring chainsaws. A lot of us bring, because we bring chainsaws, because what happens if there's a log or a tree over the road we're going to try to get by, we can't get by it. So we bring chainsaws so we can cut the thing up and, and you know, set it up or maybe even reuse it. Uh, that's how we are. And uh, that's just one thing that we do. I mean, there's so many things that we can do to prepare and be comfortable. You know, we're when we go up camping, we're just as comfortable as if someone was out into a campground. Seriously. We're just as comfortable, you know, we have all the amenities that they do, but we just come more prepared, we have to be more prepared, and we, we like it because it's less people, uh, and not that we don't like people, it's just, we like being, uh, camping is designed to be away from your everyday living, you know what I mean, it's not, camping's not like going to a campground and being, you, 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 at a campground you're not really changing anything, in my opinion, because I live, my neighbors are all around me at all, every day, you know, so I don't really want to go to a campground and have that same environment, do you? That doesn't make any sense to you guys? No, not me. Not me at all, because the whole idea is to be, to get serenity and peace and harmony and and away from any other distractions that could be, that are, that are in your everyday life. That's why we enjoy camping. All right, guys, I love you all, you beautiful souls, and thank you uh, for uh, coming along this, this beautiful video. Uh, I, I love you all, and maybe this could help somebody else out, too, that's maybe their family members are, are, are trying to dabble in the uh, camping scene. You can do camping very, very cheaply if you want to. See, people don't understand, my wife and I, we, we bought brand new campers before. We bought one back in, we bought a brand new camper back in, like, uh, 2008 we bought one and um we used it a lot for the first year or so and then after that it just sat for five years and we had a brand new camper and it sat for so long that it started to dry rot 
because it wasn't being used. And so we ended up selling it a couple years back. I don't know, probably four or five years ago now. Anyway, and we sold it. It was a really nice camper. It was the same size as this, but it was a lot newer. And it had a huge slide out, which this one doesn't either. Which doesn't bother me either because it's material things. It's, it's what fits my needs. It may not be exactly the best of the best, okay? It doesn't have to be a... You know, a Cadillac of campers for me because we're we're using it and it's going to be taking care of us and we're going to take care of it. So anyway, to make a long story short, it, it, anybody can go camping, and you can. It's reasonable. It's just how what you want uh, to live with or without. You know. All right, guys. We'll see you soon.